Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. And when I first saw this video before I uh, posted it and decided to uh, comment on it, all the jokes came to mind. You know, uh, uh, heard of wild buffaloes stampede through McDonald's, uh, weave wearing hyenas tear up a restaurant. Uh, you know, and of course, my favorite 90s babies, the most useless, violent, self destructive generation of blacks in the history of black America. But after I watched this a couple of times, uh, the jokes kind of subsided. And to be quite honest, I was just disgusted at what I was looking at. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, instead of thinking uh, of, of, of some something funny to say, I'm just thinking, you know, this is why black men don't want to be bothered with black women. This is why black men will select any other group of women other than their own. Nobody else's women act like this in public. Now, I imagine, you know, there's, I mean, you know, it goes without saying. White girls, Latina girls, Asian girls, and so on and so on. Yeah, women are going to fight. You know, uh, uh, women are people just like, like guys are. You know, they get mad at each other, they're going to fight. But you don't see white girls, Latina girls, Asian girls, Indian girls picking up chairs, hurling televisions, all kinds of mannish behavior that men are typically associated with. This is just absolutely disgusting. I'm thinking to myself, this, these are your black women. These are your black women. And, um, you know, I try. I, I, I believe I do. I try to be an advocate for black women. You know, I, I love my black women. And I, I do think that black women do get a raw deal uh, when it comes to their image sometimes. Uh, but this type of thing it just kind of um uh, uh you know what whatever it is i want to believe that black women are not black women go out of their way to prove to prove me wrong there just has to be something going on deeper uh, uh inside of a person when you can be this violent and this vicious and um just this mannish that that is the thing that that just that if, if i have a pet peeve about black women is that a lot of you are men with vaginas. You act like men. You look like men. You fight like men. You are aggressive like men. It, it, it absolutely makes no sense. And then you are more than willing to go out in public. And I don't know what it is about fast food places, McDonald's and Burger King, that black women act a damn fool when it comes to being in the public like this and they do not care and if you were to try to bring it to their attention then maybe you should act a little bit more ladylike yeah, I, I'm, I am what I am you don't like it you kiss my ass I'm who I am I'm keeping it real or whatever it is that uh, uh, you say to try to justify this kind of nonsense I really wish that if anybody from wherever this is if you see this this uh, show and you know these women, please have them contact the Wake Up Report. I, I would really like to know from them, why do you have to resort to acting like this when you are out in public? Why do you have to resort to acting like this? And one of the other uh, 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 issues is that you don't have a problem doing this in front of your children. You will be vicious and violent and aggressive in front of your children. Now, we, uh, we know about or I did a show about the... Um, black woman in Los Angeles who uh, beat a 94 year old man down with a brick almost beat him to death you know well something similar has has happened again black woman is on a bus for whatever reason cursing people out yelling and screaming on the bus and this uh, man simply asked this woman you know maybe you should try being a little nicer and 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 that may help as far as your attitude, you don't have to yell and scream at people like this. And how does she respond to this man? She shoves him off of the bus so hard that his feet leave the uh, the steps of the bus. He is airborne. She shoves him so hard. He hits his head down on the ground. And this man dies as a result. Now, this woman is looking at a murder rap because of your attitude, because somebody simply spoke to you. And, and, and again, there's another peeve that I got especially when it comes to customer service jobs. Black women have stank attitudes when it comes to customer service jobs. 
You can't talk to them uh, uh, right without them uh, uh, looking at you funny and getting the attitudes and all kind of mess like that. But this, this is what drives black men away sometimes. If obviously, uh, you know, and I got to say, you know, this is not all black women and we know that. But that's not how we are judged. Everybody looks at this and uses this to blanket all of black America or all of black women. And I know it's not fair, but that's the way it is. Um, uh, The example is set by women like this and you have to spend half your life trying to fight against it to prove to everybody that black, all black women aren't like this. Now, fortunately there is a, uh, a silver lining in this dark cloud of um, uh, uh, black female aggressiveness. Lapita made an appearance at a um, girl's, um, I I guess it's a preparatory school uh, that focuses on math and science and things like that. You know, smart girls, you know, girls that want to grow up and uh, uh, be something. And, uh, you know, the pictures say it all. You know, you look at those girls' faces and you can see in their faces when there's somebody that looks like you that is successful and beautiful and intelligent it gives you something to aspire to become and I would hope that some of you black mothers some of you black women really take to heart look find better role models than these cows that are out here acting like this better role models be better role models for your children Instead of walking around town beating up uh, senior citizens with bricks and throwing them off of buses. Do better. I find it hard to believe that after someone as positive and inspiring as Michelle Obama and black women still like this, acting like this. And even, uh, you know, Wakanda's not real, but the Black Panther. It ain't a black person in the United States of America that didn't go see the Black Panther. That black women couldn't look and see black beautiful, smart, intelligent black women that you can model yourselves after. It just seems like as uh, uh, time goes on and on and on, black folks are going more and more backwards, getting more and more ignorant. Uh, The ones who aren't are simply moving on with their lives and uh, have cut that cord. You know, you sometimes you just have to come to the sad realization that uh, you ain't going to help everybody. One of the things I like about the Wake Up Report is that, you know, if if there is a black woman, if there is a, a, a black man, anybody for that matter, who if you're going through something and you're listening to, to what I say or you happen to come across something that I'm talking about, take some of that to heart. You know, you're not going to agree with everything I say and you're not going to agree with the way I say it. But the bottom line is I'm trying to give you something that you can use in your life every day that you can walk out and observe and you can see oh okay KTM was talking about that kind of person and look there they are right there I don't want to be like that I can be better than that I can do better than that and you should want to do better for yourselves man we shouldn't be going backwards it's like we we were better off arguably as a group of people during the worst of times we were more together. We were more unified when they, black people, black Americans seem to function at their best when they got a foot on their neck. You give them freedom and this is the result. Plenty of great white girls out there. Plenty of great Latina girls out there. Plenty of great Asian girls out there. Indian girls, African girls, uh, you name it. Black American women, the largest group of unmarried women on planet earth gee i wonder why this is ktm and the wake up report saying think a little bit it will do wonders for you